today from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Justin Herbert and the Carolina Panthers versus Daniel Jones and the Las Vegas Raiders. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Carolina Panthers. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. And this carries into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They're leading him out. The number six overall pick back in April from Oregon. It's Justin Herbert. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who have helped him <laughs> along the way. And I know that the team... Here's Frank Gore, the veteran who sits third all-time in rush yards. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and ten. On second down, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Denzel Mims, the rookie, the intended receiver there. And it's third down. Incomplete. Out of the gun, Herbert. He dumps this off underneath to Gore. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Back deep, Jarvis Landry. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So now it's the Raiders' turn to go on offense for the first time. Leading them out, the man known as Danny Dimes, their second-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give a better chance to lead the team to wins. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. To throw again, Jones. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Hey, 
The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. From the gun, Jones. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Here's the Raiders punter now. Back deep is Gunnar Olszewski. Six yards on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. A gain of three, second down. Gore is a ball carrier. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 16 yards, a first down. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. There's Jalen Rager, his first NFL catch. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Here's Gore now, running out of the gun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He has a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And the Panthers are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets them down to the six-yard line. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Now it's Gore. And the Panthers are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but he'll have it at the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They'll run it with Gore. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. Frank Gore stopped up short. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. Partner, when you say a running play stops short like that, you just know 
that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. A gain of five brings up second and Second five. and five now. Jones toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Jarvis Landry, Pro Bowl wide out, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Got an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. They're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Herbert. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. A four-receiver set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Third and two. Herbert throwing again. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. So now fourth down looming. Remember, these guys went for it on their last drive, but it didn't work out. Yeah, even though it didn't work out, I would not be surprised at all if they went ahead and did it again. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Darn right. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Second and 11. Operating from the gun, Herbert. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. 
And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back. It turned into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. I have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. The Raiders heading out to take over, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players. It got his man complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A 41 this offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A first down carry for Henry. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Derrick Henry, 34 yards. And the Raiders have taken the lead. I thought as that was developing that he might actually keep it, but the right decision, obviously, to hand the football off. And some teams do a really nice job of taking a little bit longer at the mesh point, meaning where he's going to hand it off or keep it. Sometimes they ride it maybe a step longer than others. That allows him to make the proper decision and have the right person end up with the ball. And it paid off with a long touchdown run. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. And so we have the touchdown now. Here's Blair Walsh to kick this one away. From the six. He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Defense. Hey, man, let's play our game. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the gun, Herbert. And this is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. And that'll bring up second down. It leads to second and 10. Throwing again. Herbert. He's got Denzel Mims, the rookie from Baylor. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10. But well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. And he's going to go to 49. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. On second down, here's the option. Herbert, quick pass out wide. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. He's got this one completed to Mims. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. At the 24-yard line, a six-yard pickup brings up second and Again, Herbert. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and ten. At the that was a round run, line. not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, it's score. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the tackle. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and score. At the Raiders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. From the gun, Herbert. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Pass rusher extraordinaire, D Ford that time, getting the sack. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the football. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Van Jefferson with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. Although it's more commonplace now than at any other time in the NFL, it's still tough to think about throwing a rookie quarterback right into the fire week one. But guess what? He handled the fire awfully well and threw his first touchdown pass. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Operating from the gun. Herbert. This ball complete to Rager. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. A first down, Justin Herbert. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Herbert now on second down. This will be caught just inside the 10. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Herbert back to the air. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. He was looking again for Kelsey there on that play, but it'll be second and goal. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. That's complete right around the eight. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. 13, 7. 13 Raiders 7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. Looking down at the stats here, realizing he has no catches. They've targeted him twice, but no catches. So how do they get him more involved, Charles? You make sure he touches it on routes that he likes to run. Maybe even run a reverse or some type of a jet sweep so he gets his hands on the ball and get him active and involved in the game. You just try and find ways to get him going. And it doesn't have to be something that's big downfield. Maybe kind of like in basketball, just a shooter seeing the ball go through. You get him a rep, get him more comfortable. I agree with that totally. Maybe set that solid screen and give him an easy look. Well, to this point, no catches. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Second down and from the gun, Jones. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Derrick Henry, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. But now it's third down. And he's able to find Diggs. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 26. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We get things started with a good one in the NFC. Seattle traveling down south to take on Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And that one finds the Falcons out in front. Drew Locke, responsible for lone touchdown in the game thus far as he's thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head up to Foxborough to check on the Patriots at home at Gillette Stadium. And in that one, it's the visiting Dolphins who are out in front. The Dolphins trying to hold on and claim victory. 
Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Demarcus Robinson, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. First down, Las Vegas. Derrick Henry. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Throwing on second down. Jones. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And the Raider first down. On first down. It's Henry, and he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. They'll run it again with Henry. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. At the 47-yard line, a three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. Operating from the gun. Jones, a quick throw, going to be caught by Diggs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A toss left, Henry. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. I oh, hate to see this week one of the season. We'll be back. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, Jones. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 18. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now it's Henry, able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. The ball carrier. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. At the now Jones. This will be caught at about the five. And the Raiders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And that's McCoy, who is still down following the play. Appears shaken up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Derek 
Derrick Henry. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Raiders have drawn even here, and they can take the lead with the extra point to come. And Charles, the second time today that he has hit pay dirt. And once you score the first one, there is that natural tendency, and there's also that, that eagerness to get back there again. Oh, he smells it. This guy smelled the end zone, and twice he's gotten there. Extra point try now for Walsh. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. And so we have the touchdown. Now here's Blair Walsh to kick this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Operating from the gun. Herbert looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Walsh now for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers take over first. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> the ball carrier. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. From the gun, Herbert firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. 
So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Brings up second and on second and ten. The ball back with Herbert, and he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. Brings up third down and going to throw on third down with Herbert. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Justin Matabike in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Yeah, this is away, and I don't think Landry will get a chance to return here. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A run with Henry on first down, but nowhere to go there as he can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Down behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 20-yard line. as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 11 now. Off the play fake, Jones. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching in Atlanta, our apologies. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the counter, it's Henry. And shutting him off, now open field. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Henry. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Got the defense on their heels. Two first downs in a row and now a pickup of eight. Brings up second and two. On second and two, Jones. Got his man, that's Tyrell Williams. Jones. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the Las Vegas first down. Draw play, this is Henry. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. going to set him back five yards. Still first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Again, it's Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Tackled by Christian Fulton. Four yards on the pickup. Brings up second and 11. On second and 11 now. Jones. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And now it's third down. Operating from the gun. Jones. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And they stop him short of the first. As he can only get to the 20. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Walsh able to convert it as his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Raiders 24, Panthers 13. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, let a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Carolina getting set to take the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. This one brought in by Jefferson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. On second down, here's Herbert. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That's good. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards to the Panther first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Herbert on first down now. He'll air this one out for Mims. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. Second and ten. Here's Herbert once more. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. The Panthers on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and 10. And that's incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. 
And they snap it to Herbert. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. The time to pull out the stops is now. And they convert there on fourth down. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today. But sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. To the air again, Herbert. He dumps this off underneath the gore. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in a nice play he made there in the open. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Denzel Mims with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. So we just witnessed touchdown number one for the Rook, and certainly that's a football he's going to want for the trophy case. Yeah, this is one that you don't spike, right? This is one you don't throw to your teammate and let them celebrate. This is one you keep for yourself, take it over to the equipment staff and have them mark it up, put it away, and then you get it later on. And as you said, mount it in your trophy case. Fantastic. Hopefully the first of many. And this is Carr. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Throwing Jones. And right side, Henry's got it. And he goes out right around the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. got a yard here's second and nine they'll keep it on the ground Henry and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 yeah he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there seven yards on the gain and it's third and two now Henry will get it he's been busy today and he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out.
just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. This is Henry. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Tackle made by Christian Fulton. A five-yard gain on the play. And the Las Vegas first down. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long, and it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play, and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason, <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for Las Vegas, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they'll return home next week to take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.